Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. It's 514 on this Tuesday morning and we definitely have a lot of fog out there right now. This is a look out of our Manhattan camera. Very dense fog across a lot of Northeast Kansas, so make sure you're giving yourselves plenty of time as you're leaving to head off to work and school this morning. This is central Topeka. You can hardly even see any buildings here. 30 degrees currently in the capital city, so all of our temperatures now in Northeast Kansas are below freezing, so this is likely freezing fog that we're seeing. Could even be some slick spots on those elevated surfaces, maybe the shoulders of the roads as well, so just watch out for some of those slick spots too, paired with the really low visibilities that we're seeing down to about a quarter mile or even less in some cases. Overall, though, we should start to see this dissipating most likely by about mid morning or so. This is our dense fog advisory in our gray shaded counties here for most of the area that goes until 10 AM today. So by that point, we should start to see our visibilities improving, and that's actually when our winds should start to pick up just a little bit to help kind of blow this out of here. So for now, our wind speeds are mostly calm, but we are starting to see a little bit of a breeze in some cases, and that will help us out as the morning goes on. So later on today, we'll see our winds picking up, could see some gusts later on this afternoon about 10 to 20 miles per hour, but we get pretty windy heading into the next couple of days. So later on tonight into early tomorrow, wind gusts about 20 to 25 miles per hour all out of the south. It's just going to be pumping in more warmth for us over the next couple of days too. But by Wednesday afternoon, we're looking at wind gusts about 30 to 35 miles per hour and eventually overnight into early Thursday could even see some gusts upwards of about 45 miles per hour. Or so that's all ahead of our next cold front and that does swing through by the the time we get to Thursday. Still very windy through the daytime Thursday as well, but that will shift our winds to the north and west about 20 to 25 miles per hour behind the front. Some slightly cooler temperatures on the way too, and we do have those temperatures right now in those upper 20s to low 30s. But with our south winds picking up for us over the next couple of days, we should be warming things up pretty quickly. So today the fog might limit us just a little bit. We're talking mid 50s for highs today, staying pretty steady with those winds picking up through the night, and eventually we'll see our temperatures climbing into the lower 60s by Wednesday. Now another thing that this front may have with it, it's a very slight chance for some rain. Overall, not a lot, but we will see our clouds starting to increase after the fog decreases today. Clouds are on the increase through this afternoon, so we'll call it partly cloudy overall. Most cloudy skies for Wednesday, but by the time we get to late Wednesday night into Thursday ahead of that cold front, there could be a couple isolated showers here and there. That's about it. We're not expecting a whole lot of rain with this, and even then our clouds start to dissipate through the afternoon on Thursday. Maybe another chance for an isolated shower or two behind the cold front, but overall mostly dry conditions over the next several days here. Temperatures do take a little bit of a dip Friday into Saturday, dropping back to near 50 as we start off the weekend. However, another front moves through by Sunday and Monday. This one may have some rain maybe a few snowflakes tied to it, but once again, not a very good chance for moisture with that, that front either, but we do drop back closer to average for this time of the year with 40s expected for Sunday and Monday.